Yo, what's up guys? Um, just completed Revature. Yeah. And I'm on my third beer. I, uh, I'm drinking this stuff called Voodoo Ranger. It's got like 7.5% alcohol. And this is my third one. And, um, yeah, I'm having a good time. Well, technically I finished Revature about two weeks ago. That was when the actual boot camp ended. But since then we've been having interviews and, and I had three interviews so far with the same client. And it was pretty freaking stressful because uh, our first interview was just thrown on us in our last week of the boot camp when we had to present our project three, which is a project in which the entire batch is working together, except for this one kid. This one kid literally did nothing. And and for our presentation, he didn't even show up. He, he lived with uh, with people from our batch and um and he was just and like apparently he 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 did the shower he put on all his clothes and then he was just like yeah yeah i just don't feel good i'm not gonna come in today like i mean that's that's total bullshit who who, who does that you know but he, he sucks at talking so um it, it wasn't a it wasn't a loss on our part in, in any way uh one person had to just like memorize another slide when we presented and um yeah yeah that that the this was fucking hard it was a really hard week hold on i wrote down what i had to do um so first week was java in which we completed an entire semester's worth of java and in the second week we did sql which was about an entire semester's worth of sql and then the third week we did linux um, which I mean, I barely learned at all, and I, I had a really tough time just just uh, paying attention in his lectures uh, throughout. Yeah, the entire time, like I didn't learn anything throughout the entire week. But uh, but it was all right because a lot of our time was spent uh, working on the project that we had due, and so we had a total of four projects due. It started with project zero. And then, and then one, two, three, cause like programming, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, but, but what helped a lot with, with Linux was using this site called Ryan's tutorials. And there was, I, I mean, I learned so much within, um, uh, a day and a half of, of doing his Linux tutorial. And I, then I learned an entire week of, of whatever he was, however he was teaching us Linux. Um, and then the fourth week we did Python, which was awesome. Awesome fun note. Uh, it's named after Monty Python's uh, flying circus, which is pretty cool. Um, and apparently joking is highly recommended in the, in the, Pyco in the Python language. And even though we spent an entire week on it, we, we didn't use it at all for, for any project. We didn't have a homework assignment. We didn't do shit with Python. We just we just kind of learned it for a week. It was just it was the weirdest thing. And then um, and then in the fifth week we actually got started into this ecosystem called Hadoop, which is used to process big data, which is what our batch is about. Like halfway through, we actually got in to what our batch is about. Um, and and MapReduce. So how that works is it, it takes a on a on a, on a very low level uh, understanding of it, it it takes a file, or I guess high level, it, 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 it takes a big ass file and it, it chops it up into different blocks so that it can uh, be exported onto a bunch of different computers. So instead of processing one file on one server, you can process one file on five or, or how many you want actually. Although I forget the, the block size limit, if there even is one. Um, so so instead of it one file running on one server, you have one file running in parallel on multiple servers. And because of the way that MapReduce is created, it can be run on commodity hardware. You, you, so you could run it on your laptop, which, which we were doing. But in actual practice, I mean, you, you're not doing that. <laughs> you're using like legitimate servers. To, to, to process your big data. And, uh, and, and so how that works is you, 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 
the the the, the <laughs> I had to explain this so many freaking times. You, you take your block the that's been separated from the file, which is so many lines, and then um, each and then it's there's this thing called an input split method, which takes a section of the block and then it's turned into a certain format, which is called text input format. It's it it's just turning um, the the data into key value pairs in the form of text. So so there's so there's 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 strings. It's it's a it's a key and then it's a value and they're and they're mashed together, and then they're they're sent to this thing called a mapper, which um, which shuffles and sorts all the key value pairs. Or no, that's 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 not what it does at all. Uh, the the shuffle and sort happens after, but whatever. You don't need to know that. Uh, yeah. So it 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 turns the the input splits that you give it the mapper being into intermediate key value pairs and then those intermediate key value pairs get sent to uh, this shuffle uh, sort phase so um, uh, all the key value pairs get get sorted up which are then sent to a reducer uh, which reduces them down and the reason you have the shuffle sort is because say you you're trying to get like um, the biggest number of a type of, of thing like like what's the biggest number of green buckets and you have four colors of buckets you want all the colors of buckets to be sent to one reducer so it's all reduced down to um, so it's all reduced down by one type because if if you have green buckets in one reducer and then more green buckets in another reducer you're gonna get a wrong value or an inappropriate value of what the um, the the most frequent uh, um, number of buckets is that doesn't really make sense whatever you you guys don't need to know that it's fine it's fine um, and then I learned I, I got selected I got a, I pretty much got a job it's all good I just had a, a bunch of alcohol and then um, yeah the, and then the then the reducer output stuff to um, this thing called a part file and blah 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 and then um then the next week we did this thing called hive which is i mean if you ever worked with a um, oracle um uh, oracle sql developer tool it's, it's pretty much just like that it's 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 uh you have you have an interface and you input sql commands and in the when you uh put in the appropriate sql uh query you get returned um, data that you wanted, um, except that on top of this, or, or that except in this case, Hive runs on top of MapReduce. So it does MapReduce for you, um, which is really nice because for project one, we had to do MapReduce code ourselves when we didn't have to. We could have just ran Hive to do our project, which would have taken a total of um, I don't know, like two to four hours, um, but but it, it was good for for understanding how MapReduce works. So so that's why we did Project One, and then Project Two was um, uh, it was like learning how to use this this uh, this tool called Uzi, which is it's just a workflow automation tool, um, and taking your data, denormalizing it into something called a star schema. So that, like, you, all that is, it's you have a, a fact table in the middle that has a one-to-one a -one connection to dimension tables, and your your fact table holds all your KPIs, your key performance indicators, and your dimension tables ha handles all your um, like your your business questions. Like, uh, for for our project, we 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 selected, um, oh, we used a data set of um, a Kickstarter campaign. So like all the Kickstarter campaigns from the origin point, which was, I think, uh, 2008 to uh, like around 2018, something like that, I forget. And and actually like like one of our one of our teammates just straight up did nothing. He he didn't even have any kind of computer science e background at all. He was a history major straight out of college. <laughs> and like he um, and he, he literally did. He did nothing. He did nothing. He did nothing, and and it was not a problem because uh, because we got to learn more. We we had we had more stuff to do, 
and it wasn't too stressful. I actually found um, Project 2 to be kind of fun and um, and I wouldn't have got it done actually if it wasn't for this other person who sat behind me who was like, like just, just an awesome programmer and just understood stuff like, like way too quickly. Like I, I was just like, how the fuck did you figure all this out? And, um, and he, and he helped me a lot, uh, with, with like these few things that I didn't have in place and we're just totally breaking everything. And so, man, I hope this is all making sense. Uh, cause I'm just pouring out a lot. Uh, and I'm not going to do another one because I, I, I hate doing these videos. They're just so, they're just so much work to me. Just like getting myself to do these real life videos or just, just, I view them as a pain in the ass. Um, even though I like actually recording myself talking isn't that bad. I know that doesn't make sense, but, but, but how I view it in my mind making this video is just a huge pain in the ass and I'm just glad I'm getting it over with. Uh, so yeah, project two was done and then we went on to project three or wait. Oh, so, uh, yeah, after week six, we did hive. So in week seven, we kind of did this thing called zookeeper and Uzi. I, we, we were mostly just working on project two still at, at that point. Um, <laughs> and we barely went over those two things. Like our instructor was barely in the room after week, um, after week five, he was he was pretty much barely in the room because he was a pretty pretty busy dude. He worked till till seven p.m. every day, and he would come in on the weekends. Um, yeah, and I I mean I just thought that was really freaking weird. And also he 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 ran another batch at the same time as ours, and and he told us that 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 was extremely rare. Um, I don't know for sure. It's it sounded like he was telling the truth. He seems like a pretty honest dude. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, so week seven, we kind of did Zookeeper Uzi. I barely know what Zookeeper is. All I know is that kind of, it's a, it's a resource manager. I couldn't really tell you more than that, other than that, it's okay. That's a little joke for anyone who knows big data. Um, he's always okay, by the way. I mean, as far as anyone knows. And then uh, week eight through 10, we did project three. Uh, and shit, a lot of that time, my arm's getting so tired. I've been working out a lot. I've been practicing handstands. Weeks, or, yeah, so project three. Fuck, we, uh, we had a really difficult time just connecting into these, into these, uh, into these resources that exist on the cloud. And we used AWS, Amazon Web Services which is infrastructure as a service and platform as a service. And, um, and, and all the, and all the, um, the authentication information that they gave us was just completely wrong. We didn't, we couldn't connect in to this thing called Elastic MapReduce. We couldn't get, connect into Redshift. We couldn't connect into, um, um, I'm, I'm blanking on, on the other ones right now, but, um, but yeah, we, we could, could connect into into other stuff i i almost just we're actually not allowed at all to talk about what we did in project three we, we signed a non-disclosure and be, because the the data that we dealt with was um was uh, was was actual uh, it, it, it used to be data it, it's historical data by reviture but it got corrupted uh, and even so technically it would probably be okay, but it's still not okay to talk about it. Blah, blah, blah. Um, again, hope this is all making sense. And then, yeah. And then in last week, week 10, we were just thrown, it was just thrown at us. Hey, you guys have interviews, um, prepare for that uh, at the same time as doing project three. We we're like, oh, okay. Uh, I guess we have to, cause we really want a job. Um, <laughs> And so, and you can't, and, and Reviture will not let you, um, they, they won't let you go, they won't let you get an interview until you complete um, all their stuff. Um, and so like we actually, uh, we did their, we, 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 we presented our project three before, before, before our first interview, before our first rounds of interviews, round of interviews. Um, 
and uh, and they were like, all right, cool. And then we just were, I mean, we were told that it would be two weeks till, till we hear back from them. And then next week we're like, okay, uh, guess what guys? They're coming here physically. So our first interview was on GoToMeeting. And then next week we were, we were told, hey, yeah, they're gonna be here in person and to do a, a basically a soft skill interview. It wasn't really um, like like testing our, our, our technical knowledge. That was that was our first round. That was all technical information for me. It lasted about 40 minutes. And, uh, and the second one I thought was pretty cool. We just chatted, but he asked some really weird questions. Like, like, like the dude straight up asked me, so like, uh, why do you keep going? What, what, what keeps you on living? And I'm like, and in my head, I'm like, did you just ask me why I didn't kill myself? What the fuck is wrong with you? So, but obviously I didn't say that because I, I want him to give me a job. So I'm like, oh, you know, cause you know, we just only have one life and I figure we we just keep doing this. And uh, or, I mean, I mean like, you know, like just like, let's go, you know, we, we should be grateful for what we have, blah, 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 stuff like that. And then, um, and then this week we were thrown, Hey guys, guess what? There's another interview and it's going to be like the same thing as the last interview. Um, and we're, but, and except this time it's also through a webcam. Um, and we're just like, um, okay, why? Sure. And, uh, and that went well for me. And I found out through talking with the, the, the final interviewer that I got the position, uh, or I got selected. They didn't. They didn't decide yet where we're all going. Um, we could either be working in-house for this company, uh, but because they're a, cons a tech consulting company, we could actually be working for an entirely different company at the same time while working for them. Um, so if that were to happen, I might have another another interview to deal with. But at this point, it's pretty locked. It, it, it is locked in. I got selected by a client. I did all. I did the hard part. If there's any other um, interviews at this point, uh, this is how it was explained to me by my instructor, as well as just I mean my general gut feeling and 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 what um, the client told me um, that like it like I mean you you're in you you, you got it. Um, so so any interview after this is just um, is just for logistics sake I guess like for for people's processes. Uh, or in internal processes. Um, so, uh, and also a couple people in my batch, they didn't get select, they didn't get selected. I think, uh, three people, uh, one of them, I'm not surprised at, at all. He was the kid that didn't show up for project three. Um, and someone else told me that he was just straight up like, yeah, I'm like, he said like, yeah, I just, I just want to get dropped. I don't even want to try anymore. And it's like, all right, why'd you come here in the first place? Whatever. But the other two kids, um, I mean, that sucks because they should have gotten they should have gotten selected. And one of the kids that 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 didn't get selected, he um, his interview was that his interviewer was literally driving during his interview. He was he he could hear the car sounds and and the uh, and the and the blinkers going on and off and the and the honking of horns. And, and it's just, and, and he said that his interview went, went pretty badly. And it's like, no wonder why, I, like you, you don't conduct an interview while driving that, that should be illegal. I think that, that, that sounds like bullshit. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, that, that sucks for those guys, but, but they'll, they'll still be fine. I totally believe because once you graduate from Reviture, they pretty much take care of you. Um, there'll there'll be other there'll be other interviewers there'll be other clients that you can interview with um unless you just suck shit uh and and are just have horrible speaking skills and and just suck shit at at um at knowing stuff about um what you're studying um what be it java full stack or us big data blah 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 um but it, it it does happen. I found out that people do get released from the Reverture program, but but that that's super that's super rare. And I mean, and and it like what's more likely the case if if you don't get picked up after the first client, 
is um, you may have to wait a couple more weeks, potentially a couple more months. Um, and after so long, if like if Reverger, I guess, just gets the feeling that you're not going to bring them any value, they're just going to release the, they're just going to release you because I mean they can't just keep paying for your housing and just giving you a paycheck every week if, if for nothing. I, they, I mean they they don't just give handouts and uh, to take in people who just do nothing for them. That that's just terrible business practice. Um, so I mean, so from that standpoint, you know, if, if you have any curiosity of, of how well you're going to do or, um, in terms of actually getting a client after you complete the boot camp, it's really nothing to worry about as long as this is something you actually want to do. You know, that, that's something that you really have to look at inside about and, um, and, and think about, um, so I mean that that's pretty much it. That was uh, my time at Reviture. I could have explained a lot more, and I'm sure you guys have questions. Uh, so if you guys do have questions, please post them in the comments below. I'm not going to answer you directly, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a comment on my own, pin it to the top, and then list out all the questions that I get from the comments in there, and then and then answer them in that pinned comment um, later. Have a nice day.